So machine learning, we are still at this early stages of all these capabilities, but what is possible today? And how does machine learning impact your business, but also your innovation? Julian Simon, he's the global technical evangelist for AI and for machine learning from Amazon Web Services. He's here to talk us through how machine learning can help you today. Julian, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Machine learning is applied already in, in every industry, in every department. But can you give us some understanding how far we are from machine learning everywhere? Um, so people often ask me, you know, what's the typical customer for machine learning on AWS? And, and the reality is it's literally everyone now. Uh, we have over 100,000 customers who use AWS for machine learning across all industry segments, companies of all sizes and shapes, uh, public sector, education, etc. So it's literally everyone now. Uh, and for example, um, um, in healthcare, um, Moderna, who just uh, announced a, a vaccine for COVID-19, uh, has used AWS to reduce uh, vaccine development from uh, from 20 months to 42 days. Uh, that's that's an amazing uh, reduction. Um, we we see customers in every every segment, you know, automotive and media and entertainment and financial services and so on. So it's it's across the spectrum for sure. So if we look to machine learning, data is required. But if we look to many companies, they they struggle to get the right data, to get the right quality, to solve these disparate sources. To start with with machine learning. Can you share your experience and maybe have some tips what organizations could do to, to start and to solve this data challenge? Well, you're right. You know, data is the is what makes machine learning possible. So before you even consider running machine learning in your organization, you need to have a, a strong uh, data architecture and, 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 and a good data practice. So um, you know, for some organization, it means building uh, a data lake, and uh, AWS actually has uh, a service for this called um, AWS Lake Formation. Um, but in any case, uh, you need to have um, reliable processes to collect data, store it, uh, secure it, which is always very important, and and then of course pre-process it, uh, clean it, transform it in a way that makes it more um, uh, expressive and, and more interesting for machine learning algos. So data scientists actually spend um, about 80% of their time doing this, uh, data cleaning, data transformations. And one of the capabilities that we announced uh, a few days ago is called uh, Amazon SageMaker Data Wrangler. And, um, and it's, it's a capability that lets you just do that, explore your data, interactively transform it using uh, your own code or built-in code, and then um, export it so that you can start training machine learning models with it. So it's really, you cannot spend enough time building your data architecture from data collection to data cleaning to data processing. You really, really need to pay a lot of attention to this. Otherwise, you know, your machine learning efforts are going to go to waste, unfortunately. And I watched this keynote as well from Andy Jeshi, and indeed he made a series of announcements which are impressive new learning, machine learning capabilities, like the, the data wrangler. How will you see these new capabilities impact organizations and impact businesses? Well, you know, to us, it's, uh, it's all about customers and, and what customers want is to focus on machine learning. They, they want to spend 99.9% .9 at least of their time studying and solving the machine learning problem at hand. So what they don't want to do is um, building in and managing infrastructure or building and managing tooling, uh, which, you know, all of which is absolutely required to, uh, to run your machine learning uh, workflows. But it's not, you know, it's not central to the machine learning project. So um, a lot of what we're um, uh, announcing this year revolves around simplifying, automating, uh, freeing machine learning teams from all the heavy lifting, 
infrastructure, tooling, etc. That that stands in the way, and that slows you down. Uh, because at the end of the day, you want to go as fast as possible from, you know, problem discovery to experimentation and all the way to production, right? The, the truth lies in production. That's where you're going to see if your machine learning models work or not. So you need to get there as quick as possible. So we're trying to remove all the roadblocks that prevent you from doing that. Yeah, which gives a lot of new capabilities and new potential for organizations. And you have worked with the early adopters already with all these new capabilities that you have announced. Can you share some learnings, how these type of capabilities can be capitalized on these new services? So, yeah. So as you know, when we, when we build, uh, we only build based on customer feedback. So um, we, we listen to customers. We try to understand what they, what their, uh, what their needs are, then we build a first version of the product, of the service, and we run uh, beta versions and, and, and lots of uh, uh, feedback comes during that process. And then we build with the, the final service. So what we hear from customers this year is, is really, it's all about uh, speed and you know, going fast, testing new IDs, and, uh, and getting them in production as quick as possible. And in this respect, machine learning is not very different from, uh, from software development. And, and you, you have a lot of ideas. And uh, in order to find the right one, the best one, you need to be able to experiment a lot. And you need to lower the cost of failure. Um, and because you, if you want to try 100 ideas, maybe, you know, maybe 98 are, are not fruitful. So it's okay. You can explore them anyway. You can fail fast and, uh, and move on to the next ID. And, and traditionally for machine learning, this has been really difficult uh, because the, 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 the amount of time and resources and skills that were needed there uh, were so high that you, you really had to cherry pick the few IDs that you wanted to try. So thanks to services like Amazon SageMaker, you can build your machine learning models quicker. And thanks to uh, AI services, um, which are you know, high level services that uh, are based on machine learning, but don't require any machine learning skills, you can go even faster. So it's, it's what customers want. They want to go from business ID to uh, production as quick as possible. And we're on our way, I think, to democratize machine learning in the whole organization, which is great. Julian, thank you for providing all these insights, this practical experience. Um, exciting to see all these new promising capabilities coming up, the coming days that you're going to announce. And for the audience, thank you for watching, and we hope to see you next time. Thank you.